Ever seen a plant eat a bug? No, this isn't some sci-fi horror film, it's real, and it's happening right now, all around the world. Picture this, a plant with a mouth that snaps shut faster than you can say bug snack. You might think plants are all about soaking up sunlight and making oxygen, right? Well, let me show you the weird, wild side of the plant kingdom where things get a little darker. Let's start with one of the most famous, the Venus flytrap. This little guy's a straight-up predator. It doesn't just stand there like a regular plant, it actively hunts. You know that snap you hear when you accidentally touch it? That's the Venus flytrap's way of saying, dinner time. The trap is like a pair of lobster's claws, and when it senses an insect or even a spider walk across its sensitive hairs, snap. The jaws close and the dinner party begins, but it doesn't stop there. This plant releases digestive enzymes that dissolve the prey into a nutrient soup. Who knew plants had such a, well, vicious side? But hold on, the Venus flytrap is just the beginning. Ever heard of the pitcher plant? This one is even crazier. It's like nature's version of a trapdoor spider, but in plant form. Picture a jug-like structure that fills with liquid, looking pretty harmless from the outside. But here's the kicker, the inside of this pitcher is a death trap. When an insect lands on its slippery rim, it loses its footing and plummets into the liquid below. But here's where it gets even more fascinating. The plant doesn't just kill its victims for fun, it uses the bodies of insects to feed. It's like a natural composting system, except it's powered by death. These plants can digest their prey for up to a week, and they're particularly fond of ants, beetles, and flies, so watch out, tiny critters. Now let's talk about something even weirder. Have you heard of the sundew? This one's like a creepy, glistening trap that looks innocent enough until you get close enough. It's covered in sticky, dew-like droplets, and as soon as an insect touches them, it's trapped. The sundew doesn't just grab its prey and sit back. Oh no, the leaves start curling around the poor bug as if to say, you thought you were escaping, huh? And then like the pitcher plant, it starts digesting. It's like a weird sticky trap that slowly gets more and more claustrophobic for the bug. But hey, it's not all bad for the sundew. It gets its nutrients and keeps growing stronger. Now hold up, you might be wondering why do these plants need to eat insects in the first place? Aren't they supposed to just photosynthesize like regular plants? Well, the truth is, they grow in places where the soil is poor in nutrients. Things like nitrogen, phosphorus, and other goodies that plants usually get from the ground. So, to survive, they've developed these insane adaptations to catch their food. It's like a plant version of adapt or die. If they didn't have these strategies, they'd starve. It's survival of the slickest. And here's a mind-blowing fact for you. Some of these carnivorous plants have been around for over 100 million years. Yep, while dinosaurs were still stomping around, plants were quietly evolving into this insane, bug-hunting version of themselves. It's like they've had an evolutionary head start in the survival game. But just when you think you've heard it all, let's throw in the bladderwort, a plant that can trap tiny aquatic creatures. This one takes the carnivorous plant game to a whole new level. It has these little bladder-like structures that act like vacuum cleaners. When a small aquatic creature swims by, the bladder sucks it in like a vacuum, trapping it before the prey even realizes what happened. Once inside, the bladderwort doesn't just sit back, it actively starts breaking down its prey. Talk about a fast food chain. Now if you think these plants only live in tropical rainforests, think again. Some of them thrive in places you'd never expect, like bogs and swamps. They don't need rich soil to survive, just the ability to hunt and adapt. And that's what makes them some of the coolest and most terrifying creatures on Earth. The best part? They've got this whole silent killer vibe going on. They don't need to chase their prey, they wait patiently for it to come to them. So, next time you pass by a flytrap or pitcher plant, just know you're looking at the plant version of a hunter. These guys didn't just evolve to grow tall and pretty, they evolved to trap, catch, and devour. It's a whole new world out there and plants are way more than just pretty flowers in a garden. And hey, if you thought that was cool, just wait until you see what else these plants can do. You'll never look at your backyard the same way again. Oh, and speaking of cool stuff, don't be a stranger. Stick around for more because trust me, this wild world of weird plants has a lot more to show you.